if you want to, we can walk around the exterior because there are many elements that are pointed out in the interior you find in the exterior as well. And I do start in the front. Of course, we do have the, uh, the single frame, which is a typical Audi feature. It's uh, evolutionary style. It has a different proportion. It's more narrow. It's wider because we wanted the, uh, the Audi A4 to be uh, the most sportiest sedan uh, in, the, in its class. So it's, it's low, it's wide, uh, it's supported, the, the, the proportion of the grille is supported by um, the hood. The hood is not, uh, it's running seamlessly into the fender, so there is no shot line on top of the hood anymore. But we moved the shot line all the way around, and that's what, what Philip pointed out last night. The TT already has it, the R8 has it, so it's like a genetic code coming from our super sports cars or sports cars into the B segment A4 sedan. You know, that, that is really cool. And if you follow my finger, Going all the way around, this is a shot line, this is a shot line, it's a shot line, it's a shot line. And over here it becomes a shoulder line, right? So when you look at this, this corner here, different material than it is over here. This is a moving part, this is a moving part, and look at of the precise shot line over here. And this is not going to change. It's going to stay like that as long as the car exists. So the precision and, again, craftsmanship, what we put in here, it's really, really cool. And it, again, it's the same characteristics as well, what I pointed out in the interior as well. Yeah. So we're running all the way, all the way, all the way to the rear. The car is really long, nice sedan, precision shoulder line, all the way to the rear. And look how wide and long the car is. It's a super wide body, and this wide look is supported by the tail lights as well. Notice here, same graphics as in the front. So it all comes together, it's the same language. Maybe treat it in a different way, but you see this here, it's the same graphic as the front. So it supports the, the width of the car, the shoulder line is running all the way around the car, supported by the, by the lights, and it gets a really wide and, and low uh, look to the car, so it's, it looks like a super sports car. Yeah? It's a super sport sedan. This line supports here as well, makes the car really wide see how, how precise the shot line over here is. When you step further back, you see almost no shot line in between the, the lights graphics later on. When you drive behind another uh, A4, it's really nice. The exhaust pipes, uh, pipes are already pulled to the outside so, uh, to increase the wide look of the car. And when we check the proportions of the greenhouse, for example, always a typical Audi thing. Again, you have the typical Audi jeans, uh, genetic coat here, you have the Three quarter, uh, uh, one third of the greenhouse, and two thirds is the body section. Yeah, that's a typical Audi proportion. Makes it look really like a sports car. The contour is known as an Audi. The proportion is an, uh, is an Audi. But again, the uh, the, the treatment, the, the the detailing pushed it to, uh, to the next level. The way the windshield is angled, it helps only not only the proportion to make the looks uh, the car look sporty, but it helps the oops, um, the um, Economic of, uh, to, to increase the economic factor, I think we're down to 2. Point, uh, 0 0.27, exactly, yeah. which is really cool. So running all the way around the car, then again, we end up in the front here. Details like same same graphics as in the rear. We have a double double feature on here, but like elements like this line runs into this little line down here. It's all done on purpose. Yeah, the lines they, they connect to each other. And this is the detailing one I want to point out at this point. Mm -hmm.